competitors' names from a hat, draw them at random, and pair them up. Uh, Mark Yodi Riley is in the tournament. Oh. Ben the Boss Bateman. Mark Yodi Riley just went up against Andrew Guy. He didn't have a great game. Call it what it is. You talk to him himself. He even say maybe he beat himself. Yeah, what's great about Riley is uh, not only is he really great at movie trivia, but he's going to get over losing to Andrew really quickly. So we'll be able to fight really well together. You got a beard mask and a baby who thinks he's a boss. Listen, all right? I'm coming in here. I'm knocking the dust off. I'm taking this tournament, and I'll do it with you fine. But you gotta show some damn respect, would you? Three. King of New York. And your winner! Ladies and gentlemen! Ben, the boss! Me, Ben! And Mark Yoni Riley! Mighty Matt Nost. And. Let's see. Ooh, William Bibiani. Oh, oh, oh. Matt Nose, the former team champion, part of the legendary team Top 10 and the Horseman. He is paired with his former stablemate of the current champion himself, William the Beast Bibiani. And I'm already hearing behind the scenes, these two do not see eye to eye at all. I couldn't even get you on Twitter to try to like come up with a team name. Do you have any There's idea how many team names we went through? No, no, no. Do you have any idea how many team no. names? No, no, There is no we in that. There's you had a 12-sided argument in your head over team names. And You're just Patrick. Your winners by way of technical knockout. I don't know what's gonna happen with Cinemaniacs going forward. But uh, we're here to kick everybody else's ass. And is there going to be friction for the two of us the entire fucking run of this? Yes. Yes, there will. Yes, there is! champion and the current singles champion William the Beast Bibiani going up against who's the boss Mark Yodi Riley and Ben the boss Bateman managed by Dagnino and of course the Cinemaniacs managed by Emma Fife. Angela I mean that's the real question here it's less about the teams for me it's more about the managers because that is as much of a head game as anything you're going to see up here on the question receiving desk now you and me at the answer desk we've seen a lot of carnage before we've seen a lot of chaos heck in anarchy already this match here might take it to the next level the history is real all around the board here because if you look at the beef that Dagnino and Fife have had in the Great past. Egg. You look at all the times that they've, they've squabbled in the back when Emma used to be on the Mike in the Post interviews and then her time in the manager bowl. And then, you know, we know his history, Dagnino's history with Matt Nost. And then you got the five horsemen angle. You've got, well, first of all, the two former horsemen in Bibiani and Nost together. And then Riley, a current horseman with Nost. There's a whole soap opera of shit going on right now. There's a lot of manure on yeah. this match here today. Top 10 had their rivalry with action. I mean, there's so much history surrounding this matchup and almost everyone here has been a champion or manager champion ben bateman is the lone wolf trying to find that one championship but we we have this team here this they're all on their on their journey to a championship match well you said there's a lot of uh pony stablemen up here today and i don't want to beat a dead horse but it's the same theme as we've seen in Aaron Arky, the team match so far is that who is going to have the better chemistry i mean these are some very combustible matchups that kalinowski and that have created here today between the team members themselves what's going to play out in round two and round three that's the big question here and we got a look at the pre-game feelings of both who's the boss and the cinemaniacs check it out right now 
Well, here we are again, round two. I mean, honestly, it's not all that surprising when you look at the caliber of player that you have in right Matt Nost, who is one of the former team champions, and also William Bibiani, who is the current singles champion. I'm confident that he can defend the belt and that this team can continue today. Okay. What, 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 is, what, is, what is the Robert De Niro impersonation? Listen, listen what the we're here to focus on the two guys that are going to go down today. That's what we're here to focus on. No talent is the new talent. And I think that's who we're facing here. You know, the, you know, the last time I saw Matt Nosey said to me, look, I want a more obnoxious, louder teammate to carry me. Well, looks like he got the right guy. Full disclosure, normally I wouldn't win because like I manage the current team champions. The Shire Wolves are the champions. Fight Club is my number one priority, but Finstock Ooh, is managing. What is this shit? You just get to cram in your team. agenda? Uh, okay. You get 10% of our winnings. What is this to you? You work for us. Riley, we've put our differences aside here, but how on God's green earth did you adopt Matt Nost onto this, this right, faction right. of yours? Are you, are you kidding me? All right, respect. Respect the player, respect the game. We are playing well together. I'm looking forward to this match. Even with this guy, I don't even know what this is, but I'll, I'll find, I'll go with it. Emma, no matter who wins, you win. Yes. You get to them. There's what is this right? shit? Exactly. And also, I really want to be Vinstock. So you guys need to get it together, it together and work as a team like you did last time. I've so many applications to the Fife Club. I just want in. God, what do I have to do? You know, I don't like William Bibiani, but guess who likes him even less than me? Matt. Nost, okay? This this team is such a ridiculous pair. I can't even I can't even believe we have to play these idiots. I thought Finstock was like banned for life. What is he even doing here? <laughs> Listen, when somebody's that sleazy, they they manage to you know worm their way into all kinds of different things. Okay, well you guys, neither of you are sleazy. You are both very respectable and respectful competitors, and I believe in you. And you guys are gonna win today. That's all there is to it. Can I just say one thing before they cut back to Christian and Mark? Shire Wolves! They're gone. Here's what I'll say. I respect the players in this game. I respect the two guys that I'm gonna face right now. M Matt knows, he's my boy, all right? I'm gonna respect them both. But the thing is, I want that belt, and I'm gonna do it playing with a damn good partner. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna beat them, and that's what I'm looking forward to today. Again. Complete chaos. Uh, I, the Cinemaniacs, they look for a second like they're on the same page, and then Matt No starts yelling at Emma Fife now about promoting the Shirewolves. And then they, they're yelling at each other, and then you, you look at who's the boss, and everybody, and, and Dagnino is accusing Bibiani about being mad that there's no pizza here today. And, and then there's do, you, do you want to do a match, or should we just give them all nap time for an hour? We, let's get some ecto coolers and let's everybody relax, I, and we'll be back in a couple hours yeah. when these children learn how to behave themselves. I don't know what's going to happen out there, because again, between the beef with Dagnino and Nost and Emma and then Riley trying to hold Bateman back from Nost and then Bateman is pissed off at Bibiani. It's movie I, trivia, guys. It is incredible. It is incredible that what these guys, how much how much animosity is going to be in this You know game. what? We're that asking them it. nothing but book questions until they can learn to act yeah. like adults. All right. We're going to get the tail of the tape. Who's the boss? You have movie release dates, comic book movies. And knowing who Mona is. Sure. Huh? Uh, what's, what's that? Classic sitcom. Who's the boss? Or Friends. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but their name is Who's the Boss? Oh. Speaking of chemistry. Cinemaniacs. <laughs> then you have over there, you've got sports movies, you've got Hitchcock movies, and just trying to get along. That's really the yeah, no, that's the theme up here at the answer desk as well. All right, if you're ready to get going, pal. Yeah, I had my Butterfinger. Let's do it. I had half of one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. <laughs> The crowd is, uh, the crowd's in A, you and I are a B minus right now, everybody backstage, D plus. Introducing first, led to the ring by their manager, Finstock, with a record of one win, no defeat. He is the boss, Ben Bateman, and his partner, the former movie trivia showdown, two-time champion, for Cody Riley, who? Oh, boss! There's Finstock. What the hell is he wearing? Turn around and move them. And cheer Riley. They, they don't know what to do here. All I know is to rock out with this great Metallica tune for whom the bell tolls. Charles Turner, I think, takes liking to this kid that he's good now got uh, as his partner, but still, who likes that, you know, 
I don't. And Riley's got an edge to him where we know that he loves being the hero, but he's got a dark side. This is like Superman 2, the Donner Cut, right. less Superman 1. Or Superman 3 at the diner. Or oh, Superman 4, the quest for peas. You got something, you imbecile? Yeah, I was going to say, um, you know, there comes a time in a man's life yeah. where you have to understand what you're doing in life. And what? you don't know that. I don't think you figured it out at all. Nice hat, dumbbell. All right. And their opponents. I quite like the hat. <laughs> Led to the ring by their manager, the Golden Mike, Emma Fife. He is the former movie trivia schmodown team champion, Mighty Matt Nost, and the reigning movie trivia schmodown singles champion, William the Beast Bibiani, the Cinemaniacs. Here comes Emma Fife from the day and the beat for these two. He might be just waiting the ball. I can't tell. I think he is. He, he is actually letting air out of the ball. He's actually ruining the beach party. We talked about chemistry. It doesn't seem like that's that. Oh, he just kicked it. He just kicked the ball. He kicked the ball in Emma Five's direction. Sitting next. That's funny because these two sitting next to each other. Are, actually, are they going to do that cute five thing? They just did it. But they are exactly. The thing is, they are on opposite teams yet they're sitting together. This is a strange, strange pairing. What is this, this clown this college? Wasn't cluttered this enough with uh, three waters and that is, I believe, a mochaccino or a protein yeah. shake for Mighty Matt Nose. Oh, there you go. So, everybody here, uh, the, we're ready to get going here. The I know. Did Ben want to do any more awkward smack talk underneath other people talking? Do you want to embarrass yourself and sweat a lot? Bioplex, and we are uh, ready to get going. It's getting me a belt, so yeah, that'd be great. All right, William all right, Bibiani, not realizing the microphone is what you speak into to be heard. <laughs> I don't think he needs it. I was just saying that Ben Bateman's really nice, you guys. All right. He's, he talks a big game and he kidnapped the dog, but it's fine. Classy as always. Let's get to the round one rules, shall we? In round number one, the field is going to hear eight questions from eight different movie trivia schmodown categories. It is a team matchup, but in round one, it's all about your individual film knowledge. You may not rely on the strength of your teammate to answer any questions in round one. We'll save that for round two and the end of round three. Each question we ask is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. I'll remind each team and each competitor of your three team usages of the JTE rule throughout the match. You're not sure you heard a question right, need to buy yourself some time. Employ a JTE rule, and if you want to challenge any question that is asked or an answer, you didn't like the way it was ruled, use your one challenge that you have throughout the three rounds. Uh, feeling good up here? The answer to us now, Christian. Ready to get going? Okay, so we're going to ask the Cinemaniacs first. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah I believe right. so. And now who's the boss? Are you ready? Maybe uh, just give Bibiani a second to catch his breath and we can get started. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh man. Yeah. I'm like sorry. It's, a, it's just all. so hard carrying this heavy belt that you've never won. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, look at that. Look at that shot. Just saying, the three of us know what it's like, right? This is a big deal. This uh, is... Uh, to answer your question, yes. Then let's ready. get ready to schmoot out. All right. Here we go, guys. Category number one is comedies. Comedies. <laughs> In Talladega Nights, Ricky Bobby tries to conquer his fear by driving with what animal in his car? Did I have a dream? Or did you and I see this film together after dining at California Pizza Kitchen in Burbank, California? Dream, I saw it in Florida. Five, four, three, I'll, two, send for my thing. One, pens down, Matt knows. Bobcat? It's incorrect. Uh, cougar? Correct. No. Yeah, didn't have it. And Jaguar. So only Riley gets it. Riley gets it, and who's the boss? Up by one. Bobcat. Right. They're all nice Do jungle challenge? cats. Do you want to no. Challenge? No. Because no. <laughs> I, because I, I don't know the answer. Matt knows so, not. No, I'm happy. just. I think a bobcat is another name for a cougar. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, guys. It's not. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. You should be on my side on this. To I, 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 I don't want us to waste a challenge. I'm it's, not saying officially challenge. It's okay. like you guys like each other a lot or something. All right, it's here great. we go. There's nothing RB, wrong with this. RB3 loving this dynamic. Boy, this match is off to a hot start. Here we go. Next question. 
Action Adventure is the category, the question therein. Who wrote and directed the so-called Mariachi Trilogy? Debating uh, jungle, if I gave you your favorite jungle cat, you gonna go with a classic lion, tiger situation? What do you got? Five, four, three, I'll let you look. I will stare at you. One, the answer's a panther. Pants down. Pants down? Looking for panther. Pants down. <laughs> Riley. Yeah. Robert Rodriguez. Correct. Good Robert thing. Rodriguez. Yes, ben. Robert Rodriguez. Robert Rodriguez. All right, everybody got it. So we have Cinemaniacs down by one as we get to question number three, which is dramas. Which famous rapper plays Blue, a wheelchair-bound drug dealer turned informant in Training Day? I only say Panther because I'm such a fan of the Jungle Book and obviously mm -hmm. the gear, a huge influence. I like Panther. Did you know Mowgli ended up going to Emerson College? Yeah, he did well there. They have a theater Major program. Theater. Five. That's what I said. Four. Three, two, one. Pens down and beast. I'm sure this is wrong. Coolio? Incorrect. Yeah. Ben. Coolio? Are you kidding me, Bibiani? <laughs> He's an actor! Come on! Snoop Dogg. Correct. Yeah. Nosed. But Busta Rhymes. No, and Riley. Yeah, Ice T didn't get it. No. Wow. All right. So missing wow. the perfect game. But who's the boss still? Ben there you go. Bateman hits there you it, go, and we're up by two here. That's right. Next question. Our next question comes from the world of animated movies Coolio? drawn by hand or on a computer. The question is cool. Lord Farquaad is the name of the villain in what animated film? Oh, and a, a stench yes. walks through the crowd. The crowd says, really? In round number one, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Ben. Shrek. Correct. Shrek. Yep, Riley. Shrek. And B. Shrek. Everybody got it. So six, four. Who's the boss up by two? And our next question, fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who plays the villainous gold digging nanny Debbie in Adam's Family Values? I will guarantee you, you and I did not you see can do this it, movie together. Um, uh, no. But we used to eat at California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah, I love over it. to see Five. the movies. Sometimes. You want to go four? We, we do not you endorse do it three. No, we don't have After them for the sponsor. Two. One. Repeat the question, please. Yep. Who plays the villainous gold digging nanny Debbie in Adam's Family Values? That is a first for who's the boss? My treat? Buy some uh, stop talking for Sedona a tortilla soup. All right, five. five, four, three, two, one. Pens down and Matt knows. Joan Cusack. That is correct. Joan Cusack. Yes. Joan Cusack. And Ben. Said Sigourney Weaver. Okay, so mm. Riley took that that GT to paid off for him. It's the Who's the Boss keeps their lead of seven to six. Your next question comes from the world of comic book movies. For those keeping score at home in your scorecards, this is the sixth question in round number one. No perfect rounds. In Thor Ragnarok, what does Thor disguise Mjolnir. Mjolnir as to stay incognito while on Earth? Five, it's a thing four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Mark Riley. Umbrella. Correct. Bibs. Umbrella. Yes. Uh, can I see it, Bibs? I believe you. Umbrella. Bibs. Okay. And Ben? It's there. It's there. He's got it. He's got it. Ben? He's Umbrella. Got it. And what are you judging his handwriting on, Bateman? That's chicken scratch. Yeah. Guys, it's, guys, he's got English, it. He please. got it. He got it. So, all right, so there we go. 9 8. 9 8. Next question here. 9 8. Horror slash thriller. Who directed the 2016 hit Don't Breathe? We need to teach all of our. We need to take like a week and get them some schooling, some, some penmanship. I can't. You I'm and terrible. I, in our Patreon match, I think wrote very yeah. well. Five. Allegedly. Four, right? Come on. Three. Two, one, pens down, beast. Fede Alvarez. Correct. Ben. Joel Edgerton. Nope. Uh, no clue. And Riley. Fede Alvarez. Okay, Joel so Edgerton, beast. Joel Edgerton, really? So yeah. Riley no, having a hell of a round here. Riley, Riley doing really well. Use my lines, huh? Keeps him up by one point here. Who's the boss has a one-point lead? Riley playing great. Okay, here we go. Next question. And the last in round number one comes from the celebrated world of Steven Spielberg. Senor Spielberg. And the question is... What Spielberg film stars Eric Bana and Daniel Craig? This is not going to be a Bobcat four, Jaguar situation. Three, two, one, pens down. Ben. Munich. Yes, and Nost. Munich. Yep, Riley. 
Munich. And Munich. Got it. Great handwriting, Bibiani. Thank you. So I think, look, both Nost and Riley had a great round there, too. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Who's the boss? Nost only missed like one or two questions. Uh, so. Yeah, Babin playing well, too. Missed an yeah. easy one there towards the end. But nevertheless, we have yeah. the match that we wanted. How we got here with all the trash talking is neither here nor there. It's 12 to 11. Who's the boss in the slimmest of leads right now? Now the teams are able to consult with one another for round number yeah. two. All right. So, Mark, we are in round number two here. It is the wheel round. How does it work? It is the Wheel of Fate, Justice, Doom, and I will note that two the Wheel Slices today are sponsored by patron supporters of the movie Trivia Schmodown Patreon. Check out our Patreon, select which tier is right for you. The sponsored slices here today are 2000s and movie quotes. So if either team spins one of those, we will say the name of the patron who sponsored it. Thank you for your patronage. In the wheel round, each team gets one spin at the wheel. If you don't like the category you spin, you are allowed one mulligan, which is Scottish for do-over. We also have spinner's choice and opponent's choice lurking on the wheel. Once you select your category, the wheel gives it to you. You guys get six questions in that genre. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. Um, but there is stealing in round number two, and if you're not sure of the answer, once you consult with your teammate, you can ask us up here to give you multiple choice options, at which point the value of the question goes down to one, and that is all she wrote as far as the rules go. All right, so who's the boss has used one JTE rule. Hmm. Both team has their challenges. Um, all right, guys, so who's the boss has a one-point lead, first or second? We're going to go second. Does Bibiani want to dance his way over to the wheel? Entertain everybody a little bit? No? Right. no, Matt will. Well, looks like Matt no knows, is Matt knows going to get into the beach bump? Yeah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's wow. that dance he loves so much. That is an old-time yeah. shimmy. This is good. Nicely done, man. Matt He's having a great time. He's having a great time. Memories of the great He's Gatsby. Not having fun, man. Yeah, Nose, I believe. I think Bibiani is bringing the joy out of Nose somehow. I think I that was Nose doing, doing the Charles. Uh oh, look at this. This look could be this. Spinner's Choice. Look at this. Oh, oh. Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. He's going to spin away. Keep going. Breaking the crowd's heart. <laughs> look at him dance. Boy, that, look at that Matt Nose go. That was a good dance. All right, so we're getting a, uh oh. I, I think this is a good spin here. It's not going to be opponent's choice. This could be fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi sci it is. <laughs> fantasy sci-fi. All right, fantasy sci-fi. So when you chant Meryl Streep, it is just to annoy the shit out of everybody, huh? <laughs> That's what it's for? Great. <laughs> All, All right, course, gentlemen. Huh? All right. <laughs> Not really, this no. This fucking guy. You spun fantasy sci-fi because you both hate Meryl Streep. <laughs> Your first question in the world of fantasy science fiction films worth two points. In the 2007 classic Transformers, what junk food was set before Rachel and Glenn as they were being held in the interrogation room by Sector 7? I actually didn't hear the start of that question because they were laughing. Just Sorry, that, like, that, like two that's words. Fine. We can do it. Again. What something something? In 2007's Transformers, uh -huh. what junk food? Junk food. They don't know it. <laughs> Five, four. Not off the top. Multiple choice. I guess, oh. but. Is it A cookies, B cake, C donuts, or D candy? Yeah, probably. Donuts. It is donuts. Give him a point, and we are now tied. Mm. All right, your next question. Would have been a steal. In the world of fantasy sci-fi, in the smash hit Avatar, who plays Dr. Grace Augustine, who is the head of the Avatar program? Sigourney Weaver. Two points. They get two points for that one. Correct, Amundo. Thank you. The your smattering of applause. They don't in want the to 1996 win. family fantasy film Matilda. Who played Matilda's con man of a father? Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. Two points. Two more points. Also directed it. And now they're finding their way around fantasy sci-fi nicely. Their fourth question in the round. In the Fellowship of the Ring prologue, how many rings were said to be gifted to the race of men? Five. Four. Let's, let's just three. again say it's like multiple choice. I can give you that. Is it A3, B5, C7, or D9? Okay. We're going to go with nine. It is nine, as point. a matter of fact. Yeah, look at that. So it's, it's fighting point. through it. Okay. All right. Navigating their well. Their, uh, maybe it was the right choice to spin away from yep. the beloved Miss Street. They have a five point lead. Two questions remain. You know, notice you can help, right? What is the name? Good one. Gentlemen. <laughs> 
<laughs> we broke Christian. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> no, this fucking kills me, man. All right. Is everybody done? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. What is the name of the small town that is the setting for Power Rangers? Oh, Jesus. Pe oh, God. Perry Nemiroff. Perry Nemiroff is screaming right now. That's right. Oh, my God. Five, four, three, yeah, we're two. Multiple choice. Oh, my is it A, oh, Riverdale, B, Stars Hollow, C, Sunnydale, or D, Angel Grove? Angel Grove. It is Angel Grove, and they have a six-point lead. Okay. Their last question in round number two comes from the world of fantasy sci-fi and also Harry Potter. What is Harry Potter's uncle's name? Emma Fife is trying to give them we answers. We just need the first name. Just need the first name. Oh, it's um. William Bibiani dressed like a phone. five, four, three, two. Choice. Is it A. Dudley, B. Vernon, C. Neville, or D. Jacob? Vernon. It is Vernon, One and they have point. a seven-point lead. Right, so they fought through it with multiple <laughs> choice. Yeah. Seven points, yeah. but now who's the boss? Yeah, if they get a category they like, they can put themselves in a nice position. Unless they hit opponent's choice, then they could be in trouble. Let's see what happens and here. And Mark Riley is, uh, the, Strutting I, I'd say, the more well-liked of the two who's the boss From the wheel. From the wheel, not the pick. Is going to be spinning the wheel, and here we go. Solid spin by a seasoned veteran. He's, he's held belts before. Two belts. He's got a great leather jacket. People cosplay at him yeah. at conventions all around the world, and now he's here today spinning the wheel. He's had a shot at the team belts before. Oh, he he could have gotten look spinner's choice, Christian. Look Brace yourself. Boom, he, he hit got it. it. He hit it. Where he are they going? Yeah. Where are they going? Wow. Where are they going it. with it? So wait, right. so now here comes Dagnino to see where they're going to try to put him at it. They're going to try right. to put him out. If there's one thing that can ruin a spinner's choice, it's the cons consultation of Dagnino. We're going to go uh, movie release dates. Wow. Movie release dates. Movie release dates. Ben Bateman, Bateman wants to solidify yeah. himself on that strip. All right, here you go, guys. You got six questions in the realm of movie release dates. Movie release dates. Here you go. First question. Tim Burton's Sleepy Hollow was released in what year? Five, four, three, two, one. 99. Correct. Yes. All right, All just right. under the gun, two yeah. points for him. The next question, in what year was Annie Hall released? 1977. Correct. Same year as the Space Fantasy. Question, Who's the boss? Question three. What year saw the release of Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines? 5, 4, 3, 2, 2003. Correct. Wow. Question four. What year saw the release of the Will Smith film Hancock? Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. What year saw the release of the Will Smith film Hancock? Five, four, Three, two. 2008. Correct. Oh, wow. Two more points, and Who's the Boss has taken the lead, and they still have two questions remaining in this yeah. round. Richard Linklater's Dazed and Confused was released in what year? Five, four, three, two. 1994. Incorrect. For the steal, this could be big. 91? Correct. 1993. They had a chance to take the lead. That might come back to haunt them, yeah. Christian. Last question here, guys. Last question. The war comedy MASH was released in what year? 1970. Correct. Wow. Who's hey. the boss having a strong round going up by three? They are choosing movie release dates, missing only one. Missing, they missed Days Confused, but is, speaking of that 1993 classic, Close. Cinemaniacs Close. has to be feeling a little out right. of it, missing that steal opportunity and now finding themselves down three. But Cinemaniacs also had a pretty impressive round two with fantasy sci fi. Three points, and we've seen many, many teams and many people in the past come back from a three point deficit. It's not the end of the world by any stretch. Was that fun for you guys? Yes. Did did you enjoy that? Didn't you have fun? All right. That was fun. So, yeah, it, was now, it was fun. All right. So round number three, how does it work? In round number three, the teams are going to combine heads to give us three 
Numbers that range from 1 to 20 for each squad. Those numbers correspond to an individual movie trivia category up here at the answer desk. The first number you give us is going to be a two-point question. Once we tell the team what the category is, the team must select which member is going to answer that question by themselves. The opposite teammate will have to answer the three-point question on their own. You may only consult with your teammate for the five-point question question because who's the boss is enjoying a three-point advantage over the favorite Cinemaniacs. You'll give us your series of numbers first. What would you like, gentlemen? We're going to go 7, 15, and 17. 7, 15, and 17. All odds, the they know which team they're on. And for Cinemaniacs. Uh, 10. 10. Uh, 6. 6. And 16. And 16. All right. So 10, 6, 16. Those are all evens. So... The Cinemaniacs will get a chance first to try to avoid the TKO, and we start with category number 10, gentlemen. <laughs> number 10, you are going to be getting from the realm of horror for a two I'll take it. You're yeah. going to take it. All right, here you go. You sure you want to ask this Who's question? the boss? I'll, I'll do okay. it. I'll okay. Do it. All right. Here you go, William. What is the name of the ghostly bartender who appears to Jack Torrance in The Shining? Lloyd. Two points. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right, picking All right. up some points there, but they still need one more to force the right. hand of who's now, the boss and avoid a TKO. Yeah, Nose gets a three-pointer here, and that is category six, and that would be rom-coms. Rom-coms. Here you go. All right. Here you go. Three points. What is the first and last name of the character played by Alicia Silverstone in Clueless? Mm. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. Pens down. Pens down. Never mind. Cher Horowitz. Cher Horowitz. All right. Oh. So. Cher Horowitz. And we come to the five-point question. If they do not answer this correctly, who's the boss will win by technical knockout? Boy, the drama's never been hotter in this match. Here this you go. Great. This All is right. really fun. All right. Here you fun go. Fun match. I love guys. this. Yeah. Guys, I love here you round go. Three. Good match. All right. Guys, so... Your category 16 would be for biopics. You can confer here. If you hit it, it goes back to who's the boss. If you miss it, Bibiani, you will just have to be concerned about your title defense. And then you guys will be playing the winners of either Corruption or the Founding Fathers. Here we go. Five-pointer. Biopics. Jim Sheridan directed Daniel Day-Lewis in which biopic? That's a five-point question. Are you kidding? What do you want me to do? I didn't write it. I think it's a good five-point question. Five, four, three, two. My left foot. Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. They stay alive, and that's Ridiculous a big five-point game because yep. now they force the hand of who's the boss who's going to have to get yeah, either a two and a three-pointer yeah. or the five-pointer on their own. So they're going to have to do some question answering now, and I will be administering said questions to the team named for one of the greatest 80 sitcoms we've ever been blessed with. Number seven is the first category number that you selected. That corresponds up here to Tom Hanks, the glorious, wonderful, sandalwood smelling. I'll Tom take Hanks. it. All right, here you go. Your question for two points Tom Hanks won his first Academy Award for his role in what film? Philadelphia. Give him two, two points. points, Christian. All right, so now we are in a position where Ben Bateman can win the game with his three pointer. If he hits it, they will win the game. If he misses, they have a chance to confer for their five-pointer. All right, so category, what, 15, right? All right. Ben Bateman? Hmm. Because your team selected number 15 for three points and the victory to advance to the next round. Your question's going to come in the wacky world of Quentin Tarantino. Hmm. And your question is... It's for you, Bibbs. Thanks. For three points... Whichever one you want. Okay. Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof and Robert Rodriguez's Planet Terror were originally released as one movie under what title? Dude. Say the fucking word. It's a tension I just high. don't have the patience. Sorry, Bibbs. Grindhouse. Yeah. And your winner! Advancing to the next round! Name the Tarantino movie. Who's the boss included? Wow, sit 
Animaniacs. Unbelievable. Oof. So who's the boss proving that they are indeed in charge of at least this match? A one-point advantage over what I would consider a classic in the Anarchy Tournament. They just beat Cinemaniacs by one point. Well played match by both squads. One point. It was to the wire there <laughs> to good battle. Who's the boss? Got something they wanted really hard in that second round. Yeah. Cinemaniacs fought really hard in that second round with multiple choice, and they just couldn't handle it in that third round, and it was... Who's the boss coming with the win? And, and it, go. it's going to be a match of second guessing answers as far back as round one for Cinemaniacs. And right. who's the boss edging it out? They, they still have their five pointer available, but I think either way, this is going to be a match long remembered in the annals of anarchy history. Let's right now, we are going to throw it to Jen Sturger, who's going to have an interview with both the winning team and the losing team. Jen, the floor and the chaos is now turned over to you. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Jen Sturger here. Ugh. Bibs, I can tell you are very pissed off right now. Obviously, the whole team is disappointed. I'm not but pissed. I'm not pissed. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that their final question ended up being name one of Quentin Tarantino's eight movies. Seems like a bit on the easy side, but whatever. You know what? I know Christian hates it when people complain about that, so I'm not going to complain about that. What I'm going to say is they played a good match. I respect them. I, I'm sure Emma's really happy that you don't have this conflict of interest anymore. How does that feel? Listen, you know, I, I, I was really pleasantly surprised, actually, by how well you played as a team, given some of the pre-match interactions that I Shire have Wolves. observed. Yeah, Shirewolves. But uh, I'm I throwing mean, all my support buttons into the Shirewolves I mean, at this point. I mean, you guys point. are the ones that said it, so, uh, yeah. you know, uh, I kind of had nothing to lose in a way because I actually managed the current team champions, you still, as, as I have mentioned, and you, uh, I, still, I still got a horse in this race. <laughs> you, you still have my five club application on file, right? I have it, and uh, I will consider it. I, okay. I will take it into consideration. Okay, thank Obviously, you. Obviously, this means that you guys are out of mm -hmm. the Anarchy Tournament, which is a bummer. Yeah. Um, we were really hoping to see you guys go further, obviously. But you do have your title match coming up. I do. I'm looking against, forward to that. Against Roka. Yeah. Uh, you're looking forward to that? Sure, why not? I mean, he's right here. Someone say my name. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. You don't, it's not even. Hey, it's not even like Candy Man. You don't have to say it multiple times. You played hard, man. You played well. Thank, Thank you. you. I was, it was. Nice. It was good to watch you play. You know, I'm a big fan of yours. Being our team top yeah. ten. It's wearing our top ten live shirt. Pretty awesome stuff there. We had a show going on. Bibiani, look. I know you're heartbroken. Tell me more about your show. I know you're no, heartbroken. No, I know you're heartbroken. And I'm sorry you lost. Oh, it's it already okay. happened. Yeah, oh, yeah. Too bad. As right. always, you're late to the party. So that's right. It's there. It's there. Good for you guys. That's right. Really you can. Everybody, can take a look at. It. I, mean, I don't want to stand in front of Emma. Emma, who? Uh, no, so cool. Listen, listen. Hi. Uh, I think it's okay that you lost. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I still got this belt. No, because now exactly. Yeah, it's now great. you can focus on trying to defend it. Yeah, now I can be distracted about going to the next round, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's fantastic. You just focus on playing me. Yeah, that's really, really. I'm looking forward to. It. I've been looking Good. forward to this for a Good. while. I heard you got some new presentation or something you're gonna bring out. Some great entrance you're gonna do. Well, I'm working on it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Good. I, I hope it goes off. Me I hope too. you pull it off. I That's want you to enjoy the match. I want you to have too. a great time at the match. I want you to enjoy the no, match. No, don't worry this about me. Great. I want I'm you so to enjoy the match. This, this is, is when I take that belt off you, Bibiani. Then the go. game is going to be over. Okay. Do you understand? Because yeah. I'm destined to be a two-time champion. Uh -huh. All right? That's what the outlaw is. Okay. So now you can focus okay. on it. I'm going to focus on it. Come up like with a new song, you focus some on new destiny. clothes or anything like that. You focus on your belief that there's some sort of, you know, plastic figures. 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 You know, this is lays cute. around my this. neck. Oh, did you want the leg? All I focus on no. is hey, titles. Hey. All I focus on is titles. That a pride parade. And that's all I'm going to focus on. Yeah. Dude. Okay. That's, that's really not words mean. from, that's... I think, the first person in the Schmodown who ever wore a costume. Oh! Sick birds! <laughs> Snap! Oh. It made it look good. That was awkward. Okay, and we're back are with we, Who's good? the Boss? These guys. Oh, and Finstock's here too. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. Does your face smell like a foot? <laughs> no, it's clean. I wash. Guys, uh, congratulations. I mean, that was a hell of a match you guys had out there. I think you guys proved today that movie release dates, not as scary as everyone makes them out to be. Well, we have charisma. That's when what That's what wins. This is on the wheel. You should probably take movie release dates. Yeah. Right, Jessica? It's still Jen. It's still Jen. Yeah, that was a good call. Uh, I got I to gotta hand it to my, my partner. You know what? He knows his stuff. I knew a few of those, so you know I feel pretty good about that. But that was a great, that was a great pick. 
I'm glad we did it. Yeah, there was some really great chemistry going on out there between the two. This is, I was just saying backstage, this is a... Uh, Charisma. Yeah, a charisma. There's a, this is a sexier, badass Riley I think we've all been looking for. No, yeah, it feels good. You know, I like winning, and uh, this guy's good. I never, I never thought he was not good. This, this team is anchored by veteran knowledge, yep. homeless vagrants, and talent. And, you know... I, I couldn't put it better myself. See, that's the thing. I get him. And that's, it's nice to see that we can, you know, reach across the aisle and kick some ass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so going forward in this tournament, are, are you at all scared about some of the competition you guys have oh, coming Oh, no, up? the dope. The dope's here again. Oh, cool. You're back again. Do you, do you just hang out waiting to crash interviews? Do you work? Do you work? Bathroom. This guy was fantastic. This guy was amazing. All you guys talking all your crap about Andrew Guy. Do you see this guy, what he did, how he performed? He was amazing. Yeah, he got lucky. No, you're not lucky. What are you, Italian fight. now? He got lucky, buddy. Oh, he, he got lucky. Yeah, he got yeah, lucky. Man. He did it's get okay. lucky. I took care of business there. Like I took care of Ben. Ben, you and I, I'm glad you guys won. If Dan and I take care of business, it's going to be a lot of fun facing you guys. A lot of fun. I'm going to hit you, you know, with, I'm gonna you, hit know, you with my car, friends. outlaw. You understand me? Yeah. Is yeah. The, is you the get dog my way again? In? Is Cal still in your car, you thief? You dirty dog? Get the fuck out huh? of this interview. Yeah, we, it's cool. Where'd you find him? <laughs> Listen, How did you Roka. get let go of prison? Look at this Listen, guy. Listen, Roka. Billy, go. Remember. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Jess. The fire that burns in your fireplace is the same fire that burns down your house, Roka. <laughs> What? Yeah. Guy's like a pimple on my ass. You know that? That's what that guy is. Get out of the building, Roka. Jesus Christ. Ah, well. I think this is. Dumb. Who's next for us? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Roka? Who's next for us. Have you not been listening? I'm not playing the, the dope. 30 minutes. I don't want to play talking? the dope. <laughs> Good thing you're not playing. I've beat the dope. <laughs> Bye, sock puppet. You're fine. Back to you guys. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Roka dope. Well, you weren't kidding. Boy, did the chaos ensue because you had Roca coming in for both interviews. Very loud. Roca Very talking loud. to Bibiani there about their match coming up in just a few days. But and then you also had Roca congratulating. He was congratulating. I thought that was classy. Classy, but also a chance to play Mark Riley yeah. and Ben Bateman here coming up with the team tournament underway. The champion Bibiani is now going to be concentrating on that title match. Man. What a match. Yeah, for everybody asking questions about, oh, when can I see all these incredible personalities, each one of the gentlemen that we just saw on the desk up there are going to have another shot very soon in some form or another. But who's the boss taking the victory today, proving that they really have what it takes? It's nice to see Mark Yodi Riley embrace just a little bit of that dark side that Ben Bateman kind of. I think Ben he, Bateman yeah. comes to the desk with a smile. He's got the one-liners. He's cracking evil jokes at the opponent. But I think that they mesh very well, better than I thought they would. Well, of course, I mean, you hear Dave. Nino or Finstock or whoever he is sure. in there too. It was a hard fought victory from both. You can tell that they they're all very, very strong competitors. They wanted to win the match and it just didn't, you know, went the way of who's the boss. So now we're gonna find out will who's the boss be playing corruption or the founding fathers? in the semifinals. It's going to be very interesting. That is Christian Harl, I am Mark Ellis. Make sure you all check out the movie, Trivia, Schmodown, Patreon. Select which tier is right for you. And to all our patrons, thank you for your said patronage. Also check out the movie, Trivia, Schmodown, Facebook page, ask to be a member today, and check out the Schmodown Rundown, hosted by Frank and Brad. Anything else I forgot, partner? No, that's it. Make sure you do that. And this month, we're going to do a horror-themed Exhibition wee, match exclusive wee, wee, for you wee. guys for Halloween. So make sure you check that out. Go on over and join the Patreon. You guys help us keep this thing going. So thank you to all our patrons. How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to support the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And, yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now go enjoy the match. Go do it. It's a good match, for God's sakes.